I'm about to show you one method of making threads that meet industry standards with Design Spark Mechanical. These units were printed on an Ender 3 printer and tolerances required for that printer are about point, minus 0.6 point of a millimeter. As you can see, um, they all fit together quite well. Here we're working on a 10 millimeter bolt, a metric thread, 60 degree pitch. We'll start by drawing the actual bolt itself. Um, we need to allow tolerances, so space bar. So the actual drill size for a 10 mil bolt is 8.5 and to build in tolerances we go minus 0.35. So we'll now pull that up into a bolt. We'll start by putting a, a sketch plane through the middle of the bolt. First thing we need to do is to draw our cutter and that's based on a couple of little formulas. So we start with a square or a rectangle. Our first rectangle is the height of the thread pitch. In this case for a 10 mil bolt is 1.5 and our width is half or 0.5 of the thread pitch which is 0.75 enter. Our second rectangle is the height of the thread pitch again and the width is 0.3333 recurring or one third of the thread pitch. So in this case it's 0.5. <clears throat> we then draw a triangle based on the center point where the two rectangles meet. And the size of the triangle is two times the right angle hand rectangle times width, which in this case, seeing it was 0.5, should be one millimeter. And it will fit. Now we just grab our tool here and we get rid of the bits we don't want. So we get rid of that one, get rid of that one, that one, this one, and we end up with the tool. to cut our thread. Now with the bolt, 
we add thread with the nut, we cut the thread. And then we get a knife. So then we can use the tool for both operations. So if we click on that, we'll copy it. So now we pull this one, we create a helix around the center line of the bolt and we edit and revolve helix which now gives us our dialog box and the height we want to go we'll call it 20 for the thread the pitch is 1.5 and then we tell it to do it but in this case you can see it's it's, it's going up so we need to put in here minus 20 It'll go through and create our thread for us. What we need to do now is create a chamfer tool, trim the top of the bolt. To in here, forty five. that around there and we want to that one we want it to to cut tell it to do it There we have a ten millimeter thread. Just a matter of making the base of the shank a little bit larger to up to ten millimeters.
now for our nut. <coughs> Drill it out. Our drill size is eight point five. And in this case, we want to increase it for the tolerance of printing, etc. So we go plus. 0.25. So there we have our 6 mil tolerance, 0.25 on the nut and 0.35 on the bolt. And that, so the total tolerance then is minus 0.6 of a mil. So if we draw a line from here, doing it random over here, that will give us a alignment point when we come to do for our tool here. So what we need to do is move Move our cutter that we've got up here and to move it to sit on this point here. So we go and position our move on that corner there. corner there because we want that one to line up. And we want it to go up to this point here. Now we'll get rid of Center of, I'm going to pull that through. Pull that out. So there we have our cutter ready to bore out our nut. Get rid of that now because we've used it up. So we'll pull that around the center. We're going to revolve a helix and we'll go 10 mils down, which is going up. So we've got to go minus 10 mils, minus 10 mils and we're going to cut
So there we go. So the proof is if we move in the center of that up to the center of that. And now we move it up let's put plane through the center of that and now we can move we can move that solid down until our threads our threads mesh and now if we measure the distance from there to there you get 0.3 of a millimetre, which is half our tolerance. So that is a standard metric thread. As I've mentioned, the 0.6 millimetre tolerance covers all bolt diameters, and it was achieved by experimentation with an Ender 3 3D printer. Um, different printers may require different tolerances, so it's just a matter of adjusting the plus 0.25 or the minus 0.35 between the, the bolt and the nut, and by doing that you can adjust that tolerance. 0.6 was for the Ender 3, Different printers may require a, a different tolerance. All you need is a thread chart with the tap drill diameter as your basis and the thread pitch for that particular bolt. Once you've made the cutter, you can then cut your threads to suit.